The end is coming! My quick sonic comrades, this is Cavalier here. I'm joined by a twiz to my right. Neo. I don't know why I was, had to be specific about your orientation. Far right. Mm, back right. Far back right. No, not really. I, I mean, I could, I could punch foot. you in the dick if I had to. I do have a huge cock. That's so. it's true. It's true. It's really off putting. <gasps> off putting. Sounds funny. <laughs> Sounds like something Cosby would have to do. <laughs> I've got to get off the pudding. I mean, Cosby, maybe you want to... Uh, never mind, I'm not going to make that joke. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Uh, if things seem weird, well, that's pretty simple. Uh, one, it's weird because this is our second take. <laughs> that's weird. Um, because you can't usually do two takes on the same thing. But we're doing voiceovers now. I've described this, I think, a couple times in other videos. But I'm doing it again in this one because it's the first one that we're doing it in. We're doing voiceovers over top of gameplay that I already had. This will make it easier for me to focus on games. Is that where this came from? Sure. Okay. Uh, this will make it easier for me to focus on games. I'm, I'm not being a dick. It's just very. Sh it's probably a very short game. I don't know. I have no idea how long it is. Um, and uh, it, it lets me focus more on the game when I'm playing it, and then it's all wins too, which I guess I guess I did just ruin it, but whatever. Uh, they're all wins, so they're a lot fucking more fun to watch. Well, they're all wins bitching. unless something interesting happens. Right, yeah, that's true. Unless something really, really interesting happens. Like, if I had a really good loss to uh, to Warrior this week, I would have included it. Um, because of the topic, though. But in general, yeah, it'll, it'll be more wins and stuff. It'll look better, blah, blah, blah. Um, but then we can also talk over top of it and be more focused and on point. Although, the ironic thing there is that we have to do the second take now because we totally... Uh, we, we, we derailed, we derailed. Yeah. yeah, really hard, and there was like a minute of me just going, uh, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, which is fucked when I think about guys. it, because now that we're restarting it, we're not going to bring up that topic in this video, because we were talking about George Mueller dying, which kind of sucks, which I guess it could do now. Because George he, Mueller died, that kind of sucks. He was 93. 93? 93. I said 97 last time, so that's good. Uh, we're getting more correct every time. Was he 93? 93. Yeah. That kind of sucks. I, I thought it was 97 and then he was just a little bit closer. He could have made it. <laughs> I'm really having to resist the, resist the urge of uh, clicking on all the stuff. <laughs> the side things. Because we're still watching this full screen so it looks like I'm playing with no sound I don't know what to do on. with my hands. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do with my hands. Uh, okay. Just put them by your side. Um, you didn't have to continue. Oh, I didn't have to, but it happened anyway. Atrocity. Atrocity? That's weird. Why didn't I hit him and then... What? Oh, because Acolyte. Okay. Uh, I will be... When you see the text things come up, or I think all I have is once text, the text screen comes up and I try to communicate with you guys, I'm sorry, I won't do that again. That was stupid. I realize that now, but I did it once. I think in the next game... How uh, do they have two Thors? Oh, Faces. Right. Oh, that's a good play for them. Uh, this is like a shitty, weird control... Warrior. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I'm playing Grim. Uh, again, we'll get to that in one of the later uh, games. But yeah, George Mueller died, which uh, not a big deal when you're 93. It's kind of expected. Uh, but he was essentially like the um, the father of the. In from what I understand, he's like the father of the entire man program for the United States. Uh, um, the United States space program. He's the guy that was basically the only reason that we even have, like, like he's the father of the shuttle and that kind of stuff. He was pushed, he was like an assistant director or some shit like that back in 61, I want to say it was, for NASA. So this this dude's been a big deal for a you long time. You were right time. the first time, it was 97. Fucking, I He joined yeah, NASA God. in 63. I was trying to get shit together. There was a lot of numbers in my head. What happened in 63, you said? He joined NASA in 1963. Okay, so I was two years off on that one. Which was, what, six years before we landed on the moon, right? Um, yeah. A lot of cool stuff happened in '69. That's pretty fun. Lol. <laughs> what? Was that? Was that in regards to me? Yep. Oh, okay. Um, I like how they wave when you pull a legendary. These guys, they're cool. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, and it's kind of interting because he was 97, right? We're, we're, sure, we're sure at 97. 97, now. yes. And I was talking with some of my friends last night at work. How crazy it is that 
it's not horribly uncommon to live to like 80, you know, at least not in the first world, uh, in, the, in these times. It's not horribly uncommon. Do you realize that you could be a sentient person, let's say 10 or so, you become more, that's when you start kind of getting more of your memories and stuff. If you're really lucky, you're like 5, but let's just say 10 is when you start getting pretty solidly formed memories. Yeah. You could be 10 years old the day that uh, the, the Wright brothers flew. Uh, the, 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 the reason why the Wright brothers were a big deal was because they were the first powered flight. Man had like glided before and that kind of shit. Um, you know, there's the whole thing about the Da Vinci's aerial screw. Was it Da Vinci or? No, it was Da Vinci. Michelangelo. No, was yeah, Da Vinci was the builder too, right? Yeah. Michelangelo was the painter. Yep. Just, that's all he did. <laughs> um, but it was like from the time that we first had powered flight to the time that we went to the fucking moon was like 65 years or some shit like that. Let's say 70 years. It was the early 1900s, like the 1900s, um, and then we fucking made it to the moon in 69. That's fucking crazy. That is absolutely fucking crazy. If you were really lucky, you could be alive for both the, um, the first time that the light bulb was put into mass use and when the internet launched. Like, that's really unlikely, but there are some people, like, there's a hundred and, if you could make it to about 110 or so, some people got to see that kind of shit. How fucking crazy is that? That's, yeah, that's... It, it's pretty fucking wild, considering everything leading up to that is essentially like, well, the potatoes didn't grow this year, I guess we're gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> and that was a normal year, you know what I mean? <laughs> it was like, oh, well, at least nobody, you know, lost a limb to pestilence or something like that. I don't know. That shit's crazy to me. But, uh, anyway... Let's wrap up for this one, and then we'll come back. The next is a little bit longer, so we can get for further topics and all that. All right, this match is pretty cool. Um, I ended up going against this guy. Uh, I think he's like a giant lock or something like that. And that's a really cool sort of topic. Um, that's really better suited to actually talking while playing. But deciphering what kind of deck you're playing against is a really important skill in this game. And for a long time, I thought, like, four or five turns, I thought I was playing Handlock. Um, because they still pull, is it Twilight Guardian or Drake? Twilight Drake. Is it Drake, the yeah. one that's 4-1, gain one health for every card in your hand? They, they run a lot of the same stuff until they drop Giant, and that's kind of the idea, is they surprise you out of nowhere. If I could just say something, I do know you have at least one person who's relatively new to the game. Uh -huh. so that watches your vids. Could you explain what a Handlock would be? Oh, so they know. Yeah, sure, fair, fair enough. Um, a handlock is um, a warlock that a, a lot of their minions and maybe their effects too, I can't remember, are based very specifically around having cards in either the opponent's hand or their hand. So they'll have a lot of cards and only play like one or two. One of the big ones is... Um, is it Mountain Giant? Mountain Giant's the one with cards. Yeah. I don't know if it's opponents I think it, or I think them. it's opponents. It's, it's Mountain Giant's a 12-8-8. 12, eight, eight, 12 mana, 8-8. Eight, eight creature that um, costs one less for each. Or is, or is it 20? It's gotta be 12. Um, the Giants are usually like 20, but no, yeah, he might no. be 12. I, Molten I, I Giant, I know, starts. Mm. Anyway, um, it costs one less for each uh, card in either your hand or your opponent's hand, so that's kind of a big deal. Um, they can theoretically drop stuff for, you know, two man or three or four, or whatever. Molten Giant, oh, there it is, four. I, I want to highlight it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so it's a 12... And it costs force. So, this is a, a, a Malagos, which is what that guy in gold card I want to highlight for you, but can't. Uh, that, uh, that, uh, <coughs> this is a Malagos Shaman deck that I've had a little pretty good success with. Um, which is basically a one turn kill deck. But y you'll see it, it works in this one. So, <laughs> so, spoilers. This guy's also not a great player. I don't know why they did that. Anyway, that kind of stuff. Um, basically, what you want to do is stall out in the entire game. Uh, until you can do your one turn hit. You can pretty much, if you're lucky, you can do something like... Something like 40... 46 damage uh, in one turn, but on average you do... When you do your final thing, you need them down to about 23 or... Just to be eight, sure. 18 to 23 health is usually within kill range um, for this deck. On one turn. Anyway, when, when it gets to that, we'll, we'll play it. So that's why there's a lot of um, those locks by the, the mana crystals. 
um, there's a lot of uh, overload overload effects in this game. It doesn't really matter because you're not trying to keep board control. You're just trying to keep shit dead. It doesn't really matter if you have a lot of board control. Anyway, so on and so forth. There's another mountain giant. So they have nine cards in their hand right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Okay, that's right. Um, so yeah, that's one mountain giant. That's one giant I've taken out. I think I end up taking out like four giants in this game, which I was super fucking proud of because that's not usually how that works. Um, that pretty much fucked their entire game over. But anyway, I'll try to keep an eye on this. Let's talk about stuff. All right. So uh, what was the other? There was some other piece of news thing that you wanted there to talk about. It was just uh, some awesome little tidbit that I found mm -hmm. we're entering, I guess, essentially the new era of gaming with um, virtual reality becoming... Mm -hmm. Which is not a new concept at all. No, but it's... But becoming it's... fucking usable, which yeah. is really shocking. And uh, so the Oculus Rift, I believe. Rift, I guess. Yeah. Are, or they're just calling it Oculus now. Well, whatever. Yeah. But, uh, they, 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 the media tends to refer to Oculus, the company, and not the, the Oculus Rift, the product. So. I mean, you and I have tried one out before. Oh, well, I have. You haven't. Yeah, I did it, didn't I? Did no, you? I watched no, you. Yeah. No, you, I watched you. You didn't want to put a thing on your face because you're claustrophobic. Yeah, I tried it out, uh, like, two years ago, and even then it was pretty cool. It's enough to where it makes you react when you fall, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, uh, Which, that yeah. was funny. Oh, yeah. It, you, you watch people like, oh, these guys are fucking idiots. What are these guys doing? And, and then you this? put it on your face. And it's like, okay, now you can uh, jump down here or try to find another path. Like, I'll jump. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, it's it's something else. But uh, the head, Jason Rubin, I believe. James. J Jason, yeah, Jason J Rubin. He's the... He, uh... God, what is he? He's the lead developer for the studio or something like that, worldwide lead developer or yeah. some, some shit like that. I don't he know. He uh, said in an interview that, yeah, it's going to be expensive the first year it's out, yeah, and then it's going to become reasonably priced. Because the dev kits have been like 350 or $500 or something like that, and the dev kits have a lot of um, a lot of stuff that come with them. They're not just like a production model unit, but then I think they recently talked about the actual floor model or whatever you want to call it is going to be like... It's going to be like $1,200 or some shit like that. Some ridiculous price. I think that's major because you look at the new the new uh, gen consoles now, the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, mm -hmm. and they're still around the price they were when they released. I think about, what, 400 bucks. we'll say, to no, be safe? No, they've, they've dropped pretty significantly. But, I mean, they're, they're not cheap. It seems to take a while for them to drop. If they do There's drop. the third giant, by the yep. way. <laughs> and so I guess that's why it was something that needed to be highlighted was this guy was saying, sure, it's going to be very expensive when it first comes out. Mm. But if you hold out for like a year or two, it's going to be affordable. Right, yeah. The basic thing was tech moves forward and everything gets smaller and cheaper and easier to make and blah, blah, blah. And that's, I mean, it's, it's kind of cool. It kind of just, I don't know. To me, it kind of just sounds like don't don't not buy our games. Our games are pretty cool. They're they're pretty neat, <laughs> and it's just eh. I don't I don't eh. I don't know. I'm excited about it, but I don't see it being a, a major thing anytime soon. Um, this is a gamble, I think, right here. Is this where I pull? Yeah, lightning storm. This is a big gamble, and I get real lucky. I think. Did I? No, I didn't actually. But whatever. I cleared field, and that's what it was worth. You don't have to worry about board control. You just have to fucking worry about not dying. Uh, I think... I think you're doing a great job at yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it, it worked out really well. I think <laughs> Trump uh, was talking about this... Uh, the describing this deck was... The most important aspect of playing this deck is that you... Um, is that you... Uh, you kill your opponent while being as close to death as you can yourself. There's the fourth one. And the guy's like, he can't deal with another one, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's very difficult to not get just almost wrecked and then just kind of pull it out at the end um what i'm waiting on right here so i've got you'll see the i think i highlighted a couple times but i've got maligos which does plus five spell damage and then lava burst is it yeah lava burst and crackle so that's a uh, 10 for lava burst so guaranteed and between eight and 11 for crackle so they're within reasonably close to uh death right now um that was scary when that happened Mm -hmm. But yeah, and then I had that. I was just really like a So now I'm just waiting on Ancestor's Call, and keeping minions out of my hand is very important. 
Which I think this is where I start taking damage. But anyway. Um, why? See, I should have hit and then lava burst right there, I think. Watching me now, that's what I should have done. Okay, that is what I do. Cool. Am I? No. Uh, come on, Cat. Uh. You got this. <laughs> No, don't, don't don't do that. <laughs> what are you doing? You are. Oh, he, oh. I'm, I'm I'm illustrating. That's what I'm going to use next turn. <laughs> um, oh. Are you? Cause well, you gotta sorry. Get... As soon as I can. That that's what I was going to get. You say because you got to get Thor now, and you still need Ancestor's Call, yeah. which that's the one that pulls the minion from yeah, your it's, hand. Both players play a random minion, and since it doesn't matter what they play, um, you just have to have only that minion. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, Jason Rubin says, please buy our shit. This is kind of what I hear. And mm -hmm. I, I don't know. It kind of goes hand in hand with the whole thing, which we'll get into the next segment. But with the whole, uh, what the hell is his name? Ben Brode putting out a video. He's one of, he's kind of like the face of Hearthstone for a lot of, uh, uh, I'm just doing as much damage as I can here because now I'm guaranteed to win. I have to have, uh, what, 18 health or lower to guarantee a win with Crackle and Lava Burst. So now I'm not worried about control, I just want to keep it down as low as possible. Keep his health down as low as possible. Um, but yeah, Ben Brode was, he, he, he put up a video, they recently, well they're getting ready to nerf uh, Patron Warrior, which is why you'll see there's two Patron Warriors in this one. I, I'm gonna try to do like at least one different deck for each match, um, now that I actually have a couple top tier, top tier of old decks. This might actually be the last play yeah, right here. Yeah, because I think you were worried about... But basically, he, he, he did like almost like an apology. Not an apology, but explaining why they did it a certain way and blah, blah, blah. And it was basically like, look, uh, I understand we nerfed it into the fucking ground. Uh, please don't no, stop please. buying stuff for us. Because if you do, then we're just going to all be fine. So, we'll get to that in the next one. Let's go ahead and watch this. Oh, God. that's It's such a gratifying thing. Like, that was... Basically, actually, that was almost the best case scenario hitting that 10. The best you could do is uh, 11. So, anyway, we'll see you guys on the other side. You know, let's um, earn final. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's kind of, it's gonna sound fucking like emo -y or whatever, but so there was this dead armadillo <laughs> out back. Um, we live in the woods, there's dead animals around all the time. It's really fucking annoying. I hate the woods so very much. Um, but it's... Hashtag get us to Austin. Don't. Don't, no. don't do that. <laughs> don't do that? Don't do that. Um, <laughs> that fucking threw me off real hard right there. <laughs> it, it, and again, it's going to sound like I'm being all... Jeez, I just cannot fucking hit this thing, can I? <laughs> there we go. Um... It's kind of cool, like, so you know, you've seen vultures before, obviously, right? Yeah. Like hitting, or they'll be eating, like, carrion or whatever on the roadside. You notice how whenever they get scared away, there's always one that comes back immediately? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man, I just, I'm just remembering how weird this game is. This is a really weird, I think this is a control warrior. Traditionally, control warrior is very expensive. The, 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 the quote-unquote good control warrior. There's a lot of legendaries and just bullshit. I think somebody tried to make an easier version. But then they have Grimm in here, too. I don't know. This is a fucking weird game. Um, I, I'm putting this one in almost specifically to illustrate that... Well, I do a really, really big and... Really hard... Like, I, There's a big fuck-up in it, and then I still manage to, to sort of pull it out. And it just shows that how this deck is not one win condition only, especially at this level. And it's just, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll bring attention to it when I get there. Um, you know, I just realized, did I, did I ever actually bring up text to talk to the people? Maybe I only did that one game and then I lost that game. Maybe. I don't I know. Didn't see Whatever. It. I did do it a couple times, so if I did it at all this one, it won't happen again. Um, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> I swear. Yeah, I promise. Um, I'll quit tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, I was I, I saw that the other day when I, I drove by. They kind of freaked out, and that one ran ran up right away. And it's kind of cool because that must be like the dominant vulture or whatever. Yeah. Right. You you'd have to assume that's what it is, and you cannot pick out the dominant vulture. Like you can pick out 
the main lion in the pride, right? Yeah. He's the one that's, you know, surrounded by bitches and has a huge mane and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you can... Well, it's true. Yeah. Um, you can usually pick out, like... Like, the the alpha wolf is usually the dire wolf. You can tell which one. He's, like, the big fucking scary looking one and shit. Vulture is, like... I don't know. It's kind of cool to me that these... Again, I know it sounds ranty and all, but they're, they're just, like, um... You can't tell who the big, the, the, the top dog is, basically. <laughs> and that's, I don't know, that's really cool to me. I was just thinking, it might not be the dominant vulture. It could be the uh, underling who's trying to get there before everybody no, else. No, no, it's, they're, tr they're trying to get there before everybody else, yeah, but it's not like a... Uh, no, it, you, didn't I, I get the, you didn't get the, I must get it vibe. It was the, no, it's like mine, bitches, bitches. Bitches, fuck off, basically. <laughs> I don't know, it's cool that like he looks like everybody else, but somehow he's in charge, I guess is what I'm getting at. I don't know. It was cool. I don't know if that translates very well, but moving on, let's get to the uh, the main point of I guess discussion in this one. Um, so, I have a bird related joke if you <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do that or sure. <laughs> no. I had a weird thought earlier today. Okay. Yeah. You know I don't know if you were told. I was never told as a kid that babies come from storks. I have no idea where that comes from. That's, but it's, apparently, it's, it's definitely it's a, a cultural phenomenon. Yeah, in, in America. Do, do you think that if there's a miscarriage, they just tell <sighs> somebody that the stork dropped the baby? So you're saying that the term miscarriage comes from the idea that a stork dropped a baby? Yeah. <laughs> No, I've never thought that. <laughs> that's never been one of those things that's come to mind. Fucking wow, man. That was a really good play now, I'm looking at it. Better play than they had. Been. Look at that. They got four patrons now. I think they whirlwind again here, which is kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> so no, you don't You don't think so? I, I don't know, man. That's just... That's cool. <laughs> Whatever. Talk about fucking dead fetuses and shit. Whatever. Ah, you okay. All right. <laughs> Whoa, well, what? No, we're we're just we're moving on. Yeah, we're gonna. I'd move be really on. happy if we did. Okay, we'll move on. So the big sort of thing this week. The reason why there's so much patron warrior is uh, Blizzard is nerfing, nerfing War Song into the goddamn ground, and it's R.I.P. It's super inelegant, and I don't know. Warsong is now going to read... This, I mean, this is not a new topic. We're probably the last people that are going to be fucking talking about it. Um, this is actually a really good play. Uh, you know, I just realized how good... Because when I was playing, I was like, fuck, they're just going to whirlwind me. But they already played both their whirlwinds, didn't they? I think so, yeah. Yeah, the la last turn. Yeah, this was a really good play. Damn it. Um, I'm getting ready to do the really big fuck up, though. And you're going to love it. Um... <laughs> Uh, they're nerfing it into the ground, and it just really sucks. Because here's the reason why it's not cool that they nerfed it into the ground. The this was the first deck that I ever played, like that I built that was actually competitive. Like it wasn't Face Hunter, which holy crap, thank God it wasn't Face Hunter. And you actually have to use. See, I was saying, oops, because like, oh, they're just gonna fucking whirlwind away. Yeah, yeah I was dumb. Um, that's still that's, pretty yeah, much, yeah. yeah. But again, how would you know? Because this is such a weird thing. And that was a great play on their hand. I'll give them that much. Let me see. I think I do it right here. Let's check. So, yeah, this is what's going on. I'm, I was just going to pause it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's going on is I'm counting. I'm going to get from uh, Battle Rage, I'm going to get eight fucking cards. And when I play it, I'll have five cards in my hand. So I'll burn three. So what I'm trying to do right now is figure out how to get five or less cards from, or, from Battle Rage. Or so that I don't burn any. And I come to the decision that I can get to where I can get six cards. In a second. Come on. I could get six cards and only burn one. And what's the possibility that the one card I burn is an important card? Oh, dear. Okay. So I've already played one Grim Patron. There's not... I mean, who knows what the other card that could be a huge misplay would be. But uh, anyway, it'll happen here in a second. But uh, it's just... I don't know. It's a really kind of dumb thing. Oh, here it comes. Watch this. Here. One, two, three, four, five. And I think I burned this one. Oh, man. My, so I burned two. My bad. And Battle Rage. Wow. Oh, my God. I checked my deck in a little bit here because of that. 
I had two cards and they had 15 left. So I wasn't going to be winning on time or anything like that. I was not going to fucking mill them out. I fucked myself. I am so done. I should have conceded, but I didn't. And then maybe stuff happens. Cool. But uh, I still have a War Song Commander, and I have minions. I've got at least one more Death's Bite in there. Um, They've got a lot of weird dots. But yeah, anyway, it's, it's a weird deck, right? Yeah. It's a fucking weird deck. A anyway, um... It's just, I don't know. I really hate that it's going away because, and what they changed it into was all your charge, uh, Warsong, all, all your charge minions have plus one attack, which the stats on it and the effect are really not good on, on by itself. But besides all that, I don't know what the thought process there was because the entire, it seems like they're going, well, you know, this is really unbalanced and kind of bullshit. We don't like, what they don't like is being able to die in one turn. They, they want it to be a minion versus minion type game. They don't, they don't like combo stuff either because like the Malagos thing, they don't like that because you can OTK somebody like right away. And they're just like, well, that's not fun for anybody. I'm like, fucking bullshit, dude. You drop Ancestor's Call and then just OTK for 21 damage? That is the fucking greatest feeling on the planet. And who the fuck has Malagos? I know a dude who's a rank 9, he's about to be a rank 8 player who doesn't have fucking Malagos. It, it, it's, it's just one of those kind of bullshit things. It's, I think if Grim hadn't been so cheap, they probably wouldn't have fucking nerfed him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, and then they'll hit my... Uh, they'll yeah, slam and then they'll hit my no mission mentor here, which is they actually played pretty well after this. They just didn't play well enough. Um, it, it just I don't know. It just really pisses me off because they have this you know plus one attack and all this, and it's like they're like well you know all these interactions are bullshit and we're we're responding to players and you know what they want to have and all this. So they figured they'd make a fucking another aggro deck. Like, that's one of the biggest fucking most annoying things is playing against Face Hunter, which yeah. is a stupid aggro deck. And now they're giving Warsong Commander a stupid aggro effect, which, at least for for Warriors, is fucking thematically correct in the, the WoW universe. Like, Warriors are all about rage. Like, their version of mana is rage. That's what they fucking do. And it's just, I don't know, it really fucking annoys the hell out of me. It's just really, really, really fucking pisses me off that they're so, um... Uh, they're 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 kind of like talking around what they're talking around. They're they're trying to say well, we're doing this for the better of blah blah blah, and then they're not actually doing it for the better of anything. They're just doing it because BlizzCon's coming up, and they don't want to fucking see, um, they don't want to see nothing but uh, patron uh, pa patron yeah patron decks playing at BlizzCon. You know what I mean? They don't want that face, that beautiful mug of his, to be the fucking uh, the face of BlizzCon. And it's just I don't know. It's fucking childish to me. I, I just, I don't like it. What do I do here? Do I, I think I roll one? No, I cool Taskmaster, Sunjin. It was pretty cool, and then I think I traded in the Fed. Right now, I'm just kind of trying to keep board control and try to get something going, because I have nothing else. I really did, excuse me, think I was going to lose this one. Because you lost that other. Because I lost the other game. They had like two cards, and I think I just checked they had like 15. So yeah, I don't know. I'm pissed about it. I know that you're not a real big fan of how they did it either, right? Oh no, I don't like patron decks. Playing against them or with them? Playing against them. Mm -hmm. I not. I don't really play warrior, so I wouldn't. I couldn't say that I don't. That it wouldn't be fun to play one. Mm -hmm. But as far as facing them, I absolutely agree. Doing that much damage without having any sort of way to. Uh counter it mm -hmm. on your end is kind of, I you know, kind of ridiculous. You have secrets, but there's no secret. Oh, I did a big misplay right Ooh, there. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> okay, go on. But there's no secret that prevents that from happening. But, I do think they, they nerf the right card, but not the right way. Right, yeah. I've told you time and time before that yeah, they should nerf War Song, but you know, I there's better solutions than what they did. Yeah. I think I think the the standing solution within the community that I liked more than a lot of the other ones, or the, the most out of all of them, was essentially because what her actual card text reads is anytime you summon a minion with three or less attack, it should say if a minion has three or less attack, give it charge. Yeah. That way, if so, like it, it's kind of like with um. South Sea Deckhand. His is has charge while you have a weapon. Or a Tundra Rhino. 
your beast have charge. Your, your beast have charge. If you kill tundra, if you play a beast, don't charge with it. Kill tundra rhino. Well, that beast doesn't have fucking charge anymore. Or if you use up on South Sea Deckhand, if you use up your weapon, that thing doesn't have um, charge anymore. They should have handled it that way. You know what I mean? Because one of the really people don't mind the patron as much as they do the berserker. The berserker, I, oh, as yeah. you'll see here, the fucking berserker saved the game for me. Yeah. Like that's eleven damage I couldn't pull it out of anywhere else. Well, that's always been my point was you because we you brought up Tundra Rhino. If you kill Tundra Rhino before you use a beast that now has charge because of Tundra Rhino, the other beast loses charge. Right. If you play a priest and you have the Shadow Ward Pain or Death. It does. It applies. Like, say yeah, you have you, an ogre you, magi, which is four four, and you, you have can it drop an abusive sergeant on it and then death it because you've modified its attack value higher yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. if it, you know, that's actually yeah. a really big control thing in like zoo, well, any kind of zoo deck. That's a, that's one of those things like people will hold on to abusive till the end game if they don't have a good reason to play it because of that. So yeah. But it, it, did you wrap up? I just. They should have nerfed Warsong, but in a way that doesn't make Berserker so powerful. Right. Rather than straight up, rather than nerfing it, they've straight up murdered it. Like you're never gonna see. Grim oh no, there's, there's. Used I can't think soon. of any way that that's. It's ever gonna work have to be again. from another card that comes up. I don't know. Uh, anyway, guys, that's the video. We'll uh, see you again next Monday. Job's done.